Hello everybody, and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. Today we're going to be unboxing some WADA certified video games, freshly graded and back from WADA. Now it's been a little while since we had an unboxing of video games, so really excited to cut in these and show you guys what we got back. Now let me mention, these are not your ordinary video games. These are all from Tim Atwood's private collection. This is actually our second unboxing video for the Tim Atwood collection. The first one we posted about six months ago. Those were all, those were all RPGs for the PlayStation 2. Today we'll have a few RPGs mixed in here. They're all PlayStation 2 games as well, but these are all from Tim Atwood's private collection. Now, if you don't know much about Tim Atwood, we did go into that in our first video, the one we posted about six months ago. So if you want to learn more about Tim Atwood or about the collection itself, please go back and take a look at that video. But for today, let's go ahead and cut into these boxes. Really excited to show you guys what games we got back. I think we got about 20, 25 games back. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Okay, it's a 12 pack box. It looks like it's pretty full. So here's our first 12 games. All right, and start off right here. And these do all come with the Tim Atwood Certificate of Authenticity from the estate to verify that they are Tim Atwood games. Here you go. First game, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. This is a 9.8 A++. Can't really expect anything better from a PlayStation 2 game than that. We haven't seen any 10s yet. Rumored some 10s that exist out there in the world, but we have never seen them. So 9.8 A++ is the best you can expect to do. And this is it. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, Tim Atwood Collection. It will say Tim Atwood Collection across the label there. Excellent. Can't be happier with that grade. Starting off strong with an eight, no, with a 9.8. Okay, what is next? First Memories, 9.8 A+. Once again, uh, this is an RPG from the Tim Atwood collection. Can't expect anything better than 9.8 on these PlayStation 2 games, so super excited about that, that grade. A plus seal, still a great seal, still a good grade for this game. Like I said, these Tim Atwood games, all the ones we've gotten back are bit, have been pretty high grade. So still going strong. Game number three. Final Fantasy X2. This is 9.8 A++. You know, once again, perfect grade for this game. PlayStation 2. These games you know, don't necessarily come too beat up. You can expect it in over 9, typically on PlayStation 2 games. But the seal rating is what's difficult. This is an A++ seal. A lot of these seals get scuffy and, you know, they get holes in them, scratches and scuffs and tears and snags. So if you get an A++, you know, you can't do any better than that. So we'd like to see the A++ grade on these. Once again, 9.8, A++, can't do any better than that. And it looks like we got a sticker with this one too. A surprise sticker. All right. Game number four. This is a Shin Megami. This is Digital Devil Saga 2. Now this is the downtown cover. This is a 9.8 A++. Perfect grade for this game. Once again, you can't expect anything better than that. 9.8 A++ for this game. I think we have some residue on this one. I'll have to get that cleaned off. This is a downtown cover, like I mentioned. There are two different covers for this particular game. This is a downtown cover. I think we have the other cover somewhere in these boxes as well, so we will show you the second cover for this. But here you go. This was an incredibly, incredibly popular RPG. This went on for numerous, numerous editions. I think this is, yeah, Digital Devil Saga 2. You know, the, the Shin Megami series, they went on for a while. So super popular. This is one of the first ones. Incredible, incredibly good RPG to have in your collection. 
and especially 9.8 A++, can't do any better than that. All right, these bags are fighting me today. Game number five. Wild Arms 4. This is a 9.6A. Don't like to see the 9.6. We've been going very strong with the 9.8s, but 9.6 is still a good grade for these games. These games all came out in the early 2000s, so they're all about 20 years old. So 9.6, 9.8, we're happy with those grades. Once again, a nice RPG here from the beginning or the turn of the century. Game number six. Ah, oh, another Prince of Persia. What do we have here? Prince of Persia, the warrior within. This is a 9.8 A+. Perfect grade. Seal grade is only one plus off. You know, A plus and A plus plus seals to us don't really matter too much. I know some collectors they do, but A plus seal for us, you know, we're perfectly happy with that. So A plus on a 9.8 Prince of Persia. Very nice. And another sticker. All right. The starter sticker collection. These certificates, make sure they stay with the games. Game number seven. Another Prince of Persia. This is the Two Thrones. A 9.8 A+. Once again, perfect grade on this. All Tim Atwood collection. Now the Tim Atwood pedigree, the Tim Atwood collection pedigree, I think that was the third pedigree that Wada recognized. I think they have about five or six now pedigree labels that they recognize, but the Tim Atwood I think was the third one. So it was one of the first pedigrees that they, that they recognized. Here we go. This is Rygar, the Legendary Adventure, a 9.6 A+. Another great grade on this. We've done really well with the Tim Atwood games that we got. I know some people say that the Tim Atwood games that they've purchased have not been high quality, but all the ones that we've ever purchased have been in the 9.6 to 9.8 range. You know, 9.4 will slip in there every once in a while, but most of them are 9.6 to 9.8. We can't complain. We've not, not seen any bad grades come out of the Tim Atwood collection. Uh, personally, you know, we've only, we've only heard that people have had some bad experiences. What do we have here? Trigger Man. This is a 9.4 A+. Here you go. <laughs> here's, here's an example. This is a 9.4. Every once in a while, a 9.4 will slip in there, but most of everything we've ever received from Tim Atwood has been 9.6 or 9.8. So we've been incredibly pleased with our Tim Atwood games. Trigger Man, 9.4. Okay. Burning through this box. Only three games left in this box. We still have one more over here on my left. Motocross Mania 3. This is a 9.6 A+. Back into the 9.6s. That's good to see. Motocross Mania 3. Very popular and fun game when it came out. One you don't really see too much anymore. You really Some of these games you just really do not see these titles for PlayStation 2 anymore. A lot of them have been snagged up and added to people's collections over the years and in sealed quality. You, see, you do see the complete box versions quite often, but the sealed games, you know, even PlayStation 2, you just don't see that much anymore. People are hoarding these and hanging on to them and adding them to their collections. So don't expect a lot of these PlayStation 2 games to be around for too long. If you have them in your collection, get them graded, you know, to preserve them because they do snag and tear on the seals. Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter. This is a 9.4 A++. Why did we get a 9.4 on this? Oh, okay. It's, there's a... Looks like the box might have been hit a little bit on the back there. So 9.4 on this one. Still a good grade. Like I said, 9.4 and up for any of these PlayStation 2 games is a good investment or collecting grade, the uh, collectible 
quality grade that you want to add to your collection. 9.4, more collectible quality. 9.6, 9.8, definitely investment grade games. So 9.4 here. Uh, we haven't really seen a lot of these, so it might be one of the highest grades. We don't know. We haven't checked the, the pops on these. We are just opening these up for the first time as well to show you guys. So we will check the pops on a lot of these games. And who knows, maybe the 9.4 is the highest grade, but we have not checked that out yet. But still, great game, a uh, great grade for this game. 9.4A++. Now one more in this box, and we'll move on to the second one. Here we go. Shadow of the Colossus, 9.4A+. Oh, 9 Another 9.4. We've had a couple in this box, but I think we've had more 9.8s and 9.6s, so can't really complain about one every once in a while. Another great game from the early 2000s. Shadow of the Colossus, Tim Atwood, 9.4A+. Another one you don't really see that much anymore. Okay, well, let's go ahead and cut into our second box and see what we have here. Let's go ahead and take a look into our second box. There's eight games in this one, so there's only 20 games total today. So not a whole lot of games to go through. But, like I said, Tim Atwood Collection games, super cool to take a look at. Let's try to get this out of here without the certificate. We have Mojo, 9.6A+. This was a relatively common game. You saw this one quite frequently back in the day. You don't see it as much anymore, but it's not necessarily one of the most rare games from this particular submission. 9.6 A-plus Tim Atwood in the early 2000s. Game number two. Here we go. Final Fantasy 12. This is a 9.6 A-plus. like to see that grade. Anything 9.6, 9.8, like I said, great grade. This is the eighth best-selling PlayStation 2 game. Six, uh, I think there was uh, 6 million copies sold. 9.6 A-plus. Tim Atwood Collection, great grade for this. Like I said, any of, the play, any of the Final Fantasy games, great games to add to your collection, especially 9.6 or 9.8. We haven't really seen many of these Final Fantasy 12, so we're glad we have this one. It's in a good grade like that. Third game out of this box. If I don't drop it and break it. Ah, the Shin Megami. This is the second cover that I showed you guys earlier from the first box. This is the Digital Devil Saga 2. This is the Sarah cover. There was a downtown cover that we saw earlier in the, in the first box. This is the second cover. 9.6 A+. Nice grades on these. Like I said, can't be happy with the 9.6 and the 9.8. We only had a couple 9.4s in that first box, and so far, none in this one. So hopefully, we won't have any more. That will definitely be a good ratio. Oh, here you go. Now, this franchise here is taking off and heating up. Siphon Filter. This is the Omega Strain. 9.6A+. Siphon Filter games have become really hot lately, especially the first one, Siphon Filter 1, and Siphon Filter 3, the American Flag Edition. But all the Siphon Filter games, because of that, have kind of jumped in value. So these are games that people are looking for. 9.6A+, great investment grade for this game. This is another one you don't see a lot anymore, and it is jumping in price. So when you do see it, expect to pay up for this one. 9.6A+, a great grade on that game. Only four left. Okay, there's a duplicate here. Another Final Fantasy 12. Ah, uh, 9.8 A+. Even better than the other one. 9.6 and 9.8. Like I mentioned before, the 8th best-selling PlayStation, PlayStation 2 game of all time. 9.8 A+. Great, great, great on that. 
Excellent. Two more to go after this. Here we have Xena Saga, a 9.8 A+. Once again, a super high grade for these Tim Atwood games. Very, very impressed and pleased with these grades. Xena Saga 2. Another great RPG. Like I mentioned, the first video posted six months ago was all RPGs. There's quite a few in this one as well, but these RPGs getting tougher and tougher to come by. People are holding on to them, adding them to their collection, not letting them go. So the RPGs were kind of overlooked for a little while, but people kind of caught on pretty quick and now now they're getting tougher and tougher to find. Scoring Tactics. Now this was a game, like I said, it was pretty common a few years ago. Now you can hardly find this game here. 9.4 A+. We would like to have seen a better grade on this, but 9.4 still a great collectible grade. Scoring Tactics. Great Konami game from the turn of the century. 9.4 A+. Now our last game out of this group. Oh, and it's one of the better ones. If I can get it open here, I'll show you. Valkyrie Profile 2. A 9.6 A+. Happy with that grade? Been happier as a 9.8, but 9.6 is still a great grade. Valkyrie Profile 2. These Square Enix games are becoming very, very popular with collectors. Any of the Square Enix titles, people are really, really trying to add those to their collection. So 9.6 A plus for this one. The Valkyrie Profile franchise, super hot, super collectible. People love that franchise. So 9.6 A plus, we're glad to have the second edition in that series in such a high grade. So very pleased with all the grades we got today. Like I mentioned, this was our second unboxing for the Tim Atwood collection. The first one we posted about six months ago. Please go back and take a look at that one as well. Please drop some comments in the comment section below. Let us know what you guys think about today's video. Give us a thumbs up. And as always, please remember to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.